Today I'm going to be training like LaMelo Ball. Let's get into it. Boy, if you don't... <laughs> if you don't know who LaMelo Ball is, have you been living under a rock? LaMelo Ball is one of the most exciting players to watch, from high school basketball to the NBA. So of course I wanted to train like him and see what I need to add to my bag. I mean, look at these finishes. Still doing it to this day in the NBA. We gotta get into it. To start off his workouts, he started with some veer step layups that's pushing your body into the defender. Then he did low to high pickup layups and also reach out layups that I'm gonna be doing. Lamelo works on his floater a lot, which I like because I like to use the floater as well. Kyrie hit a game winner floater with his left hand. That is his opposite hand, his weak hand. I would encourage you to also practice your weak hand floaters, layups, ball handling, everything you do, because one day this could be you. As a point guard and as Lamella Ball, you come off a lot of ball screens. So that's what we're gonna do. Come off a lot of ball screens in different ways and attack in different ways. Finishing in layups, mid-range, three-pointers. Consistently practicing coming off ball screens allows you to know what to do in certain situations. Sometimes you have to deny the ball screen and attack in a different way. Sometimes you have to just pull up for the three because they're hanging too far back. Sometimes there's two people coming at you. You in and out and attack one and go by them and find your open teammate. There's a bunch of different combinations, so you need to be practicing all of them. Another main component that LaMelo Ball does or has in his bag is the three-point shot. Now, this man has the furthest range I've ever seen. I know you've seen the classic video of him walking up to the half-court line and shooting it and making it multiple times all the time. This guy's range is insane. This is him just practicing his three, so we're just gonna copy him. As I've already showed you, this man's layups are insane. Still doing these in the NBA as well. So we're gonna do a combination of different jelly layups that I like to do. This is the up and under. You show on one side of the rim and finish on the opposite side of the rim. A lot of times layups comes down to your footwork. Working on your footwork is gonna be extremely important when working on layups, as well as continuing to practice that motion over and over of showing the ball on one side, tucking it into your body to protect it from defenders to then put it back up on the other side. I don't have that great of hang time, but I can still make these different layups, so you should be able to too.
Oh! Make it look like I'm going for the layup. That's different. That's like a circus. I'm getting dizzy. Hold on. <laughs> There it is. Okay. We got the jelly. We got the three. We got the floater. We just forgetting the half court shot. She don't believe in me. She said, just make what we about to make three. All right, here we go. Last shot, best shot. Let's get it. Oh my gosh. All right, well, that's me training like LaMelo Ball. Make sure to check out the videos popping up on the screen of me training like Kyrie and Curry. Love you, fam. Peace. Hello.